Hi there, my name is Vishal Kaivadra and I'll be running through some Sage 200 videos and this video is going to be on updating and entering Sage 200 license keys. Now in the latest versions after 2013 um, all of the licensing is automatic so it's all done via the Sage servers. Um, in prior versions prior to 2013 you had to come into the system administrator, log into the system administrator and then update your license from there. So I'll show you how you would do that in the older versions and I'll also show you how you can update your license key um, if you don't have an internet connection in the later versions. Okay, so now we're logged in to the system administrator. If we click on the license section here, this shows you your existing license information. Okay, like I said before, in the earlier versions, you have to come over and right click and select update. So this is in 2011 and prior, 2013 and onwards, it's all automatic. So you select update and in this window, you'd have the section where you enter your license key, which you've been provided with. You can hit a checkbox here which puts it into inline mode so you can copy and paste the key all in one go but this is all in the older version uh, 2013 and below in the newer version it's all automatic but in some cases you might not have an internet connection so in that case we have to import a license file which will be provided via an xml document so here you would put in your account number and serial number then go ahead and import the license file that's been provided Okay, so that should conclude the video on Sage 200 licensing.